From the KQ2 Weather Desk, your KQ2 Local Weather Authority forecast with meteorologist Vanessa Alonso, sponsored by East Ridge Car Wash. Well, Vanessa, we finally made it to Friday, and I'm hoping the Friday weather is a little bit better than it was at the beginning of the week, especially with the solar eclipse coming up on Monday. We need some good weather for that, even if we won't get to see 100% of totality. Three, per, three, three more days, Courtney. <laughs> three more days. I, I, I'm like a happy kid in a candy store because we love to talk about science. We love to talk about weather and space. It is looking to be great weather on Monday right now, it. Courtney. This is the latest forecast map of the continental United States. And if you're seeing that green over northwest Missouri and northeast Kansas, that means good weather conditions for us as we are right now expecting mostly sunny skies for the big event for us here on Monday. Now, this is the breakdown of the timeline for the solar eclipse for us. We're not going to see 100% totality as we did in 2017. We are going to be seeing 87% of it at 155 on Monday. So the show is going to start for us at 1238 with the peak happening at 155 and then all of it is going to come to an end by 311 on Monday afternoon. And we are expecting again good weather temperatures will be in the mid 60s. We are waking up to a few of those high wispy cirrus clouds out there on our Reed automotive camera overlooking the east side of St. Joseph this morning as the sun is starting to rise. Look at that beautiful picture. It is a little chilly out there as you're heading out the door to work and school as right now we are waking up to temperatures in the 30s. So bundle up good as you're heading out the door to work and school. Parents, here's that all important first student bus stop forecast for the kiddos. Sunny 35 chilly as we're kicking off our work and school day heading home. 61, 62 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Again, we are waking up to a few of those passing cirrus clouds this morning on our satellite and radar as high pressure is taking over the Midwest. Our next storm system is setting up over the west coast of the United States. This is what's going to be bringing us our next chances for showers and thunderstorms as we head into the weekend, especially late Saturday night into Sunday. So the latest forecast models are showing this storm system developing as we head into our Saturday. You can see by 4 o'clock Saturday, showers and thunderstorms developing over Kansas and Nebraska. This is going to be moving in here late Saturday night into Sunday. Right now, we're just expecting maybe some small hail, gusty winds, and heavy downpours. Here's a closer look in your hour-by-hour -hour forecast showing those showers and thunderstorms moving in around 10 o'clock on Saturday. So for today, back up to near average, 62 degrees, upper 60s, heading into the weekend. Courtney, 67, mostly sunny right now for the solar eclipse on Monday. Next chances of rain Tuesday night into Wednesday. You know, I'll handle some clouds if it means we can be in the upper 60s. Thanks, Vanessa.